Hello everyone, my name is Chris Kim and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Beaker framework. So what is Beaker? Beaker is a Python framework that makes smart contract development simple and familiar to any Python developer. With Beaker, you can create an algorithm smart contract with states and routing simply by instantiating the application class provided by Beaker. So this is how Beaker works. You write your smart contract with PyTeal wrapped with the Beaker framework. Then it gets compiled down to Teal code, which is a smart contract assembly-like language on Algorand. Then the Teal code compiles down to AVM bytecode for the Algorand protocol to read and execute the smart contract. Throughout the Master Beaker series, I'm going to dive into all of the components of the Beaker framework and explain how you would use them when writing Algorand smart contracts. So how can you get started building with Beaker? The first thing you want to do is install AlgoKit. To do that, all you need to do is run pipx install algokit in your terminal. Now, if you want to follow along with all of the code demos I'll be going throughout the series, I recommend you watch the development environment setup videos and set up your computer before you continue with this series. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, let's take a look at a quick comparison of a calculator smart contract with Bear PyTeal and with Beaker to see how powerful the Beaker framework is. Here, I am inside of the What is Beaker VS Code project. And in the description, I'll leave a link to the GitHub repo that includes the source code for this project. So if you want to follow along and run your code on your computer, you can do so by cloning that repo. First, let's take a look at a calculator application written with PyTeal. So I'm going to open up PyTeal Calc, and I'm going to open up PT Contract. And this contract right here is the calculator smart contract written with Bear PyTeal. So if you take a quick look at what this is, here in line four, we're checking if transaction.sender, the account that sent the transaction is same as the creator of the application. And we're assigning this expression into the isCreator variable. Then in line seven, we have a router class defined. Now, if you don't know what a router is, check out the master PyTeal series that is showing up in the top right right now. Now this router has a name PyTeal calculator and inside the bear call actions is defining what's happening for different types of incomplete application calls. And we're sending that to the router variable. Now coming down here, this calculator has one method called the add method. So this is a calculator that can only add. Uh, so it takes in two arguments, A and B, which are both UN64 type, and it outputs a UN64 type. And here is returning an output that is set to A.get plus B.get. PyTeal is a high level language. So this code you see right here is easy enough to understand. But for someone who's just coming into algorithm development and see this code, they will need to learn what a router is, what bear call actions is, and they'll have to define all these incomplete actions manually. Now let's look at the SDK code that will create and deploy this smart contract. Now coming down here, we have some code that is going to compile the application and dump out three artifacts into the artifacts folder. So it's going to dump out approval.teal and clear.teal, which are both teal source code, the low level assembly language, and contract.json, which is the ABI specification for the smart contract. Now going back to the explorer, let's take a look at this deploy file. Now here we're importing in a bunch of stuff from the algorithm SDK. And here in line nine, we're importing in the get accounts function from the sandbox file. So let's quickly check out the sandbox file here. Now this sandbox.py file is defining this get accounts function and it's going to connect to the local network that is running in your computer and collect all the accounts that are on that local network environment. Now all the code you see on this file is code that you have to write manually. Coming back to the deploy file, first we have to manually define the create app function. This is going to take in a bunch of arguments and create the calculator application for you. So down here is going to create an application create transaction with all of the arguments that you passed in. You have to sign it manually and then you have to send the transaction and you have to wait for confirmation. So basically you're forming the create transaction and sending it to the network. And then we also have to define another helper function called compile program, which is going to take in the source code and compile the code for you so that you can use it later on. 
And down here, we have to set up the LOD client, which is going to let you connect to the local network running in your computer. And then I'm using the get accounts function I manually defined in the sandbox.py file to get an account. And I'm getting the address and the private key of that account. Then down here, I have to read in the approval and clear teal program that we written into the artifacts folder. Uh, just to quickly show you the artifacts folder, this artifacts folder was created when you run the contract.py file. And you can see the three artifacts written out right here. So the code right here is reading in the approval.teal file and the clear.teal file and assigning them to approval source and clear source. And then we're going to use the compile program we defined above to compile the approval program and the clear program. Now, when you're deploying an Algorand smart contract, you need to define application state storage. So that's what we are doing here. And then it's going to define the state schemas. And then finally, we're going to use the create app function with all of the values that we have defined above to create the application. Now let's try calling the add method. To do that, we need to read in the contract.json ABI file from the artifacts folder. And then we're going to create an atomic transaction. And then inside the atomic transaction, we're going to add a method call that's going to call the add method. And for the arguments for the method, we're going to pass in 10 and 5. So the result should be 15. And then we're going to execute the atomic transaction composer like this. Then we're going to print out the result into our terminal. So let's go to our terminal and see what this looks like. Let's first go into the PyTL calculator folder. And then let's run the deploy file with Python 3 deploy. And as you can see, this created the smart contract in this transaction. The app ID is 281, and you can see the result of the add method is 15. So this is how you write an application with PyTL and deploy the application with the Algorand SDK. And as you can see, it's not the easiest thing to do. You need to define all of these helper functions yourselves, and it, it takes a lot of code to create a single application. Now let's see what this looks like with the Beaker framework. All right, let's head back to the Explorer and go inside to the Beaker calculator folder. Inside of here, we have two files, uh, beakercontract.py and beakerdeploy.py. This bkrcontract.py file is the smart contract file. This is the exact same calculator application that is written with Beaker and PyTeal. So as you can see, there's a lot less code. We don't need to manually define a router. Beaker is handling all of the routing for you. Here in line four, we are using the application class provided by Beaker to create a smart contract. So by instantiating this application class and providing the name Beaker Calculator and assigning to the app variable, we just created our smart contract just like that with one line of code. And in that smart contract, we're going to add an add method, which is the exact same method that we saw before. And you can do so by using this decorator app.external. By doing this, we are registering this add method to the app that we created above. Now let's see how you would create and deploy this smart contract using the Beaker framework. Let's head over to the deploy.py file. And here we're using the sandbox module and the client module provided by Beaker. So first thing we're going to do app.build.export artifacts. So what this line of code is doing is it's going to build the application, compile the smart contract into teal code, and spit out the artifacts, which are the approval.teal, clear.teal, and the ABI specifications. And then here, we're going to use the sandbox module provided by Beaker to get the accounts that are in the sandbox environment, which is the local net environment. And as you can see, we didn't have to manually define this get accounts method. We just used it right out of the box. And here we're setting up an application client. And the application client is a convenient tool that Beaker Framework provides that lets you easily create and interact with your application. And we can set up the application client by passing in the AWD client, also provided by the sandbox module, the instance of the app we imported in from the contract file, and the sender's address and the signer. And down in line 16, we're going to use the app client to create the application. Now, because this app client has the instance of the app included, it knows to create the application by doing app client.create. And that's all you have to do. 
and that's going to create your application and spit out the application ID, the application address, and the transaction ID that the application was created in. So we're going to print those three values out. And down here in line 25, we're going to use the app client again to call the add method and pass in 10 for argument A and 5 for argument B. And then we're going to get the return value of that result. Now, as you can see, we were able to call the add method just like this with one line of code because of the application client provided by the Beaker framework. And then we're going to print out that return value. Now let's head over to the terminal and see what this looks like. Okay, let's head into the Beaker folder and then let's run the deploy file by doing Python 3 BKR deploy.py. And just like that, it deployed the application, created the app with the ID 283. The app address is this. And you can see the result of the add method is also 15. So we were able to do the exact same thing just with much, much less code with the Beaker framework. In this video, we talked about what the Beaker framework is and how it simplifies smart contract development on Algorand. If you have any questions about the video, head over to the official Algorand Discord channel and get help from our world-class concierge developer relations team. The link is in the description. Now let's take a deep dive into each of the Beaker components and become a master in Beaker.